This time, in our series Maintenance Specials, Part 2, we fit our new solar panels and solar arch. Since leaving England, we found that we are using far more power than we thought we would. We made a list of all the stuff that drains the batteries at 100% in amp hours. We then divided this by the actual usage in hours. For example, our fridge and freezers are only on for about 50% of the time. This gave us a figure for being an anchor, sailing during the day, or nighttime anchor. We then doubled this to allow for any cloudy days. We did some calculations based on our battery size and our usage. We then decided to buy two 160 watt Bosch panels with prismatic glass. They weigh 12 kilos. We also bought a Victron 130 MPPT charge regulator. 12 volt at the moment because we're doing some consumption tests. In order for Cindy and any other crew to understand how our systems work, I did this schematic. Here you'll notice the solar panels are arrayed in parallel. There's two ways to fit solar panels. You can fit them in parallel or series. After a number of experiments, casting shadows, etc., we found that parallel was best for us. Today it's quite overcast, but you can see from our Bluetooth link that we're putting 6.2 amps into the batteries on bulk. The two panels in parallel are putting 18.49 volts out and the voltage into the battery is 13.57. That's not bad for a cloudy day and of course we haven't included here our 200 watt flexibles which are also run for an MPPT. At peak so far with just these two 160s we've seen 250 watts coming in. The first thing we had to do was get the design right and we wanted something specific which was bespoke. After a lot of research and measuring, we came up with this design, or a slight modification of this. Ordinarily, I'd have made it myself, but we're not allowed to weld or cut in the marina. Plus, I don't have my TIG welder with me. We commissioned a local fabricator to make the frame. Meanwhile, I purchased and then slotted open all the cast fittings we needed to fit it to the push pin. Go on, you can do it. <clears throat> It was then simply a job of closing the fittings back up again so that they would take the next fitting to join to the tube. While Oscar supervised, Stuart from Arclow delivered the frame and we fitted it. It was then a fairly easy job to connect the rear fittings and push the solar arch up into position, nice and high above the bimini, so that we can fold the bimini away even with the solar arch in position. If we ever need to, we can remove the solar arch and you won't be able to tell it was ever there. With help from our friend and neighbour, David, next door to us, it was then just a case of lifting the panels on, isolating them from the framework and bolting them up. Be careful not to jag the... Okay. Right, so if you slide it over there... Yeah. And then repeating the same exercise on the port side. We will be in a second when we get the cup over the straight. Yeah, we're good. Here you can see the prismatic surface to the glass. So here's a quick summary of what we fitted to date. We have two Bosch monocrystalline 160 watt panels with prismatic glass. We have a Victron 130 MPPT charge regulator. All our cables are in 6mm stranded with soldered ends. In winter sunlight in the MED we are currently producing a maximum of 250 watts. Our current battery bank is 400 amp hours of AGMs. We also have a 75 amp hour start battery and a 100 amp hour battery which works our bow thruster and our windlass. We're going to be monitoring this system and we'll let you know the results of how we get on. And here's the fittings 
that we slotted and then fully bolted into position. You'll note that the grub screws have been replaced with M6 bolts to stop any lifting forces. Here's the brace on the rear, again fully bolted, all drilled and tapped. And for those skip rat fans, here's that deck light we made. Five metre wander lead, we can take it anywhere on the boat and it's pretty bright. Our flexible panels will remain standalone through our 7515 MPPT charger. They're much better at being moved around the boat and we can take them off when we're sailing. They give us about 8 to 10 amps when we're at anchor. We've tried to keep this simple and in layman's terms so everyone can understand it. But if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll be glad to answer them. Next time we show you how we repaired our rib that was damaged back in France and Ant gets to use some tools he's really not very familiar with. We make these videos for you. Please make comments and suggestions below. Follow us on Facebook, Impavid us on the boat. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Sail safe. Bye. Bye.